Congratulations, Gareth. Um, can you try and sum that up? It's, I've, we found it quite hard. Can you? <laughs> well, I think um, just first and foremost, really proud of the performance the players have given because. Is is on? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, just extremely proud of the performance the players have given because they played with huge courage. Um, we knew that to come here and just defend for 90 minutes, you're unlikely to get a result. Um, so we needed to be brave with the ball. We talked um, about the threat that our front three have and that they need to believe in themselves, but also we then have to get the ball to them. And we knew today the way that Spain press, you've got to get the first couple of passes out of that press um, spot on and at times you know, we ran the risk of losing the ball near our goal, but when we got out of that press, we we were a huge threat in counter attack. Um, so the quality of the play and the bravery of the players um, was the thing that pleased me the most. Gareth, can you talk about the, the fearlessness that the front three showed, in particular Raheem Sterling hitting that that ball to score such a great goal for, after such a long time? Yeah, I, I think all three of them have understandably had questions asked um, and all three of them responded with real top performances. Um, it, we were able to play off them, we were able to, you know, they retained the ball well for us and allowed us to build. Um, the, the speed was, was an obvious threat um, and the quality of their decision making and their passes and, and the finishes was top. So, um, yeah, they, they should take huge belief from what they've done because as a team, to come here and play the way that they did is a great reference point for them now for the future. Dave Kidd. Uh, Gareth, Raheem in particular, it's obviously been a long while, it's, it's the first time he's scored under you, but you, you obviously always had that belief. Did he always have that self-belief in himself or have you had to sort of cajole him through some of the times interest in terms of goal scoring? No, I, I, it's not for me to take any credit. I think um, the only thing we did say was when he scores, he'll probably score again and he, he managed to do that pretty quickly. But... Um, no, I'm, I'm delighted for him because um, I, I, d I don't think he ever um, lacked confidence. But I think, as I said last night, sometimes you get chances and you're thinking too much. And uh, I think tonight he just took, took the chances and was prepared to hit, hit things early. Um, but also his general game was good. He took up some really dangerous pockets of... Uh, of play and got turned and running at the defence and um, <coughs> him and Marcus really diligent with their defending as well which which we needed because you're never going to dominate the whole game somewhere like this and um, you know we had to do our, uh, more than our share and being compact without the ball was going to be critical. Yeah. Gareth, Charlie White. This, this has obviously been a, uh, an issue for the team over the last few years how important is it for the team's confidence that you've beaten a major nation now? Yeah, yeah. I, I think um, that fact that they have a reference of what it was like to play in a stadium like this, you know, a lot of young players. Um, so it's important they have good experiences of playing for England, that they enjoy playing for England, that they feel the way that we want to play. Um, and um, they, they should be able to progress from this um, but that's up to us now you know we we, um, we had a, a really good summer and we had to show signs that we could step forward and we've learned a lot this week has been a really good week two good performances we've tried a new system um, we have found out a lot about some young players who've done exceptionally well so yeah I, I, I'm really happy with with what everybody's done Tony thanks Gareth, can you talk a bit about Jordan's uh, two passes from his own penalty area set up two goals, didn't they, today? Yeah. Um, we, we, again, we've tried to talk to him about having an extra touch because at times um, when you do that, the game opens up for you as a goalkeeper and some of those options become more apparent. Um, so I thought, again, in the two matches that he's had this week, he's shown real composure to do that. 
f find passes into midfield. He's got the technical ability to do it. He maybe hasn't got the technical ability to do a Cruyff in his own six-yard box. Um, but that's something he'll have to work on with Everton, not with us, probably. Paul Hayward. Paul, you still got a question? Uh, yeah, sorry, Gareth. It's, it's similar to the one you've already been asked. But um, the World Cup obviously ended on a, on a, a slightly flat note for you. And, and to, to get a win like this so quickly in Spain against the team of their calibre must, must restore the impetus for you and make the players feel that they're capable of... You know, the World Cup wasn't a one-off, basically. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it was anyway because... Um, yeah, it, it's judged however you want to judge it, really. Um, but for this group of players, um, first team for you know a decade to get a knockout win... Um, Caught the final victory against Sweden a little bit dismissed when you look at our record against Sweden over 15 matches or so. So I felt for them, with their experience, real good progress. And that's what we had to continue. And we were, you know, we were beaten. I thought Spain were better than us at Wembley. But we could quite conceivably have had a draw from the game with the decision at the end. Um, so the margins are so fine and when you're in a competition like this where there's only four matches you know there, there's a huge consequence to, to, to marginal differences so that's why for me it's so important to focus on the performances and um, I think the two performances this week have been really healthy um, we've shown an energy and a real good defensive organisation in our, in our pressing um, and we've shown belief and quality with the ball the other night on a very difficult pitch tonight against a very good opponent and with the pressure of a you know a, a fairly um vocal home crowd which you know i was pleased they had to feel that and sustain that right to the end Sam Wallace. Uh, hi gary just, just in terms of the sort of standing up to a side this good it was something quite noticeable. A lot of people talk about Dyer's tackle on Ramos in Ram in the Spain box in the eleventh minute. I mean, was that something you encouraged them to do to to take on these big characters in the Spain team and to mm. and to try and impose themselves? Yeah, well, we know that Sergio Ramos and Busquets will run the game if we allow if you allow them to. Um, between them, they have more caps than our entire squad. So. We did talk about the mentality of, the, of going into the game. You know, there's how you want to play with and without the ball, but then there's the mentality you've got to show if you're going to come to a place like this and win. And you've got to show the the nous and the um, the tactical awareness, but also the um, the the nerve to go and and take those guys on. And um, I, I think that's what hopefully the players would have taken the most from this evening. Um, They've, they've at times played with quality before, um, but I think their mentality tonight was really good. Okay, we'll finish with Simon Pitch. Yeah, just further to that, streetwise is a kind of word that's been bandied around over the years when England haven't done so well. But do you think the way you just I dug deep and took the pressure off at important moments and kept the possession at, 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 at times was important as well? Yeah, yeah. There, there's managing the game. There's different ways of doing that. There's obviously. Um, there's things we won't speak about, but there's things that, with the ball, controlling the game, taking the sting out of the game by keeping possession and playing out of the pressure um, is just as important. And then recognising towards the end, actually, we don't need to risk you know, short build-up from our goalkeeper. Let's, uh, let, let's play a little bit longer and our forwards were, were key to, to winning the flicks and, and winning some basics that... Um, you have to do to win football matches. It, it's not just about playing attractive football and um, and scoring outstanding goals. You've got to do the nuts and bolts of the game well. We didn't actually for the two goals we conceded, and on another night that would cost us. So um, there's still plenty we can do better and we can improve upon. Um, but it's always nice to do that on the back of a win. Okay, thank you very much.